Right. <clears throat> oh. Oh, am I? Whew. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Gotta get perfect. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm really nervous. Can you tell? Well, hi everyone. Um, how you doing? Good. That's great. Well, welcome to this week's video. Or as you guys like to say, this month's, this year's a video, because I never post. <laughs> Speaking of never posting, this is kind of what this video is about. Um, yeah, like why, where have I been, what have I been doing, why haven't I been making content? I just wasn't happy. I, um, yeah, I was just, I didn't make videos because I was sad. <laughs> guys, I was sad. Sorry, I'm not good with feelings, so if I'm, just bear with me on talking about emotions and feelings. It kind of started when I left high school. I didn't really have a direction or a purpose or a reason as to why I was doing anything. And I just got a bit lost, I think. I was just a lost little kid. And it kind of spiraled from there. I put on weight, as um, as everyone in the comments love to point out. Um, and I, I just became very self-conscious. And obviously putting on weight, it wasn't the main thing to why I was not a happy chappy. Um, but it definitely played a big part in it um, and obviously me not being in the best headspace sort of led to me eating more than I should and that was really hard to do in front of a lot of people telling you that you've gotten <laughs> fat was which people love to use that word and it, it, it sucked like I joke about it but it, it really sucked my favorite comments were like hey hun like you've just put on a little bit of weight you were a lot pretty when you were skinnier so like maybe at the gym and I was like thanks for that and then I just yeah I just became really self-conscious um I didn't want to be on camera because I felt I just didn't feel comfortable with myself and then obviously having to look at myself and edit the whole thing I could barely look at myself in the mirror let alone have to stare at a computer screen for three hours while I edit edit my face and then obviously I wasn't taking photos of myself so I wasn't going on Instagram the only thing I would do was have a couple wines and then tweet things I didn't want to hang out with friends I don't want to see anyone I spent most of my time just in my room basically by myself so I ended up moving out about an hour away from anyone I know, it was in the middle of nowhere, like in the country, into this little cottage by myself and I lived there for eight months. So there were horses running around, it was nature, I was like, cool, I'll get back, maybe I'll find myself out at this little cottage. Eight months later, I didn't. I was still very just depressed, honestly, that's kind of the only word I can kind of describe it. So that's kind of one of the reasons. Um, and then the other one is my sexuality. I don't like talking about feelings and things like that. It just makes you feel weird. But I need to tell you guys this so we can get things moving, get everything out in the open, let everyone know. I've really struggled with my sexuality, which I think if you have ever questioned your own sexuality, you would sort of understand. I'd go on dates with guys and be like, oh yeah, they're nice, cool, they're fit, they're hot, I like it. But I'd just get bored. And I would like go on their Instagrams. Like this one guy who was really hot. He still was really hot. I really hope he doesn't see this. Uh, I'd go on his Instagram and like have a little stalky stalker and be like, he's so hot. Why don't I just. He's right there. He wants to talk to me, but I don't want to talk to him. I didn't want to kiss him. I didn't want to do any of the other sexy, sexy stuff. I just didn't. I just lost interest. And I was like, what the heck? Why do I not want to do anything with these guys. Why do I not want a boyfriend? Maybe I like girls. I talked with girls, I hung out with girls, but I still didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to talk to them. I'd get there a little bit and get like excited like, oh yeah, they're cool, and then I'd just lose it. I'd go flat. And I'd go on their Instagrams again and be like, they're, they're pretty. Why do I not want to kissy kissy them? Why do I not want to hang out with them? Like, it was just weird. So I was like, I don't like boys. I don't like girls. Am I missing something that I don't know? Did I go through puberty wrong? This doesn't make any sense. My friends are going off with boyfriends. I'm going off with girlfriends. They were like, oh yay. And I was like, mm -hmm. Probably the last four years, I spent trying to put this label, trying to find my label, my thing, my, I was like, am I gay? Am I bi? Am I asexual? Am I pansexual? All these things, I was just, I don't know if this sounds dumb, but it was so important for me to find a label or a place where I could fit in and give me a direction of where I was supposed to go, but I couldn't find it. 
I'd have been like, cool. If I was a lesbian, I'd be like, cool, sweet, I'm a lesbian. If I was straight, I'd be like, cool, I'm straight. If I was bi, I'd be like, cool, I'm bi. But I didn't seem to like find one that I fit in like completely. And it just bothered me. And so I was gaining weight. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know who I loved. I didn't, I just felt lost basically is what I was getting at with all of the stuff I just said. I was very lost. And you could tell in the videos that I made that I wasn't happy with the content first of all and I wasn't happy with myself. And I really struggled with having to be like hee 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 when I was like whatever the opposite of that is. And it, oh here's the, here's the big part. Here's we're getting to the good part. To this day I still don't really know what my label is or what category I sit in or whatever you want to call it. Um, but I do know that I fell in love. I just, I met this person and I was attracted to them basically instantly. And we were talking and talking and I was waiting for that point of like me to get bored or switch off or just not have any interest anymore. But it never went away and that interest grew and the attraction grew, the relationship grew and I fell in love for the first time ever. And this person happens to be a woman. And she's amazing. I feel like crying. Oh, no tears. No more tears left to cry, honey. Woo. Um, no, if I cry. I was telling my friends I was gonna make this video and I wasn't gonna cry because that's just dramatic. Ah, oh. I fell in love with the coolest person ever. <laughs> no, no. Oh, oh, oh. We're gonna, no, we're gonna cut this out guys. You're not, you're not gonna see this. Right. <clears throat> oh. Oh, am I, am I okay? Am I okay? Makeup, hair and makeup, am I all right? Cool, sweet. Um, I, yeah, so, <clears throat> So, sorry, where were we? Oh yeah, I fell in love. <laughs> mm, all these feelings, gosh. Get back down. Crush, crush feelings. Let's crush all the feelings down. Feelings are for normal people. I fell in love with this amazing, she's so beautiful and she's so funny and I'm listing all these really generic things that people list but she's all of those things um, and more. She makes me so happy. No, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I know my friends are gonna take the piss of me for this. Bro, brilliant, fantastic. My point is she makes me so happy. I'm so happy, I'm the happiest I've been for a very, very long time. So I, I have obviously kept this a secret from the internet. All of my friends and family know obviously we've been going out for quite some time. It'd be a bit difficult to hide. And yeah, she's just, she's amazing. And because of all these things that I do love about her, I asked her to marry me and she said yes, thank god. And it's been so hard to keep it a secret from you guys because I knew I had to fully get my head right and sort everything out before I could make a video, let alone this kind of video, just before I could make any kind of video. And I'm finally in the right space with my head and my body, I'm comfortable with myself for the first time in so long. Obviously she was a part of that, but please don't go falling in love with people thinking that that's gonna fix everything, because I still struggled with things at the start of our relationship. That was three years in the making of me trying to get to a better headspace, and she kind of came in at the right time where I flipped it and I was on the up. Classic line, you have to love yourself before you can love someone else, and that's so true. So I was lucky that she came just at the right time. Also, I have, I have kept her off everything for a reason, and I haven't said her name, if you may have noticed. What I want to do is I basically want to let you guys take all this in. And we're going to take it in. Because this is kind of a big video, I think, for me to kind of say. I also think it's a big thing to introduce someone to thousands of people watching your life and commenting on it. So, yeah, we're, we'll ease into it. Let's go with it. We're going to ease into it. So, yeah, that's my... That's my news. My dummy just grumbled. But yeah, thank, thank you guys for being so patient. I do really appreciate it. Obviously, I've lost subscribers and followers and things, but I knew that would happen. But I also knew I had to just figure out myself before I figured out anything else. 
So yeah, if you guys are still there, I'd really love it if you... I don't know. Just came along with me. Because that's what we did before and we need to do it again. We need to catch up like old friends, you know? I feel like we're like those old friends that don't see each other in ages and when we see each other we're like Wah! You guys are honestly incredible and I wouldn't be able to be sitting right here in my room talking to myself without you guys. Yeah. Well, I will see you guys next week. Turns out the wrong side of the bed is the right side Get out of bed on the left and I smile wide Cause I know I'm gonna make this big It's the best of both worlds, I can change my wig Get it? Time to show what we each do Call stupid but we smile when we need to Screw logic, let's get crazy We is the new normal like the world is Jamie's You can't blame me cause I can't be lame I'm just trying to have fun, keeping it on replay Be an idiot, rapping, act ruthless, screaming like Thanks the rap made me do so it So the table's breaking in and was taking like it's another day